First, I know this is the last talk from the last day. There is a very hot day, so I will put some music just to, to try to elevate your energy. How many of you know this guy, Gandhar Sars? This is the, the soul version of Tenaguar. I, I will not put the uh, Tenaguar, okay? But I will just put, because this is so easy to, to dance, eh? It's, for for jig person because it's only just body in a little head okay so you you get the, the inspiration to start in this this talk it's a genius eh? i i see the the one and there is not easter egg it's all the time this eh? it's a genius it's a genius i love candles Okay, so we can start it with this touch of energy. So, so first, first. Well, the first thing. Good afternoon, Berlin. Thank you very much for inviting me and giving uh, and give me the chance to to talk uh, about this. First, I am Juan Tomás García. My blood. Type is uh, zero minus. This is important because last years are almost died f in five time. How many of you had this blood type? I'm not a vampire, eh? just only. No, nobody. Wow. Is that kind of a problem? Die. No worries. I am the chief ambitioner officer at Singular. This is a, a very good job because it's about my job is to, to try to discover will, how their future will be. So, very, very funny. I am sitting in my chair all the time, just trying to, to discover how the future will be. I am also a Google developer expert. This is an honorific uh, title from, from Google. That doesn't mean that they uh, didn't pay me for, for being a Google developer expert. Okay? But they pay a lot of things, like the, the travels and all of these things. And I am the cheerleader of the Abadia. The Abadia is the project I'm involved with to try to solve, to, uh, to solve the, uh, the game. And I am the cheerleader because at the beginning I, I put that was team leader, programmer, whatever, but I am the cheerleader. This is my actual position. Okay, and I wrote a, a book about free software, the first one. The next is the, uh, uh, La Pastilla Roja. You know, the, this you remember from Matrix, the arrest pill. And it's not about drugs. Because everybody after I say that, tell me, what is your favorite drug? And, and it's very difficult to me to just choose one, one drug. Okay, I was form, the former president of Hispalinus, the, the local user group uh, from, from Spain, and, and uh, the organizer of two meetups in, in Madrid. Okay, so we will we'll see. This, this talk will be uh, about my personal journey in trying to, to make uh, an artificial intelligence trying to solve uh, again. This is important because there is a lot of talk uh, about how to do machine learning, but I think not, not everybody is talking about uh, who is the, the process? And the process is very hard. Uh, all, all the people are thinking about the, ah, you will design one uh, artificial intelligence model, so it's very glamorous thing because you know, you, you define an architecture, you solve the thing, and that's all. But it's not that. It's about making a lot, a lot of plumbing with data, uh, Kubernetes, uh, uh, with a lot of things that are not so expected. So, I will tell you about how the thing start, how how make all all the way to to make this artificial intelligence. I need to spoil it myself because we don't solve the game yet. Okay, and you will discover why because it's not an easy thing. And everybody when when talk about um, artificial intelligence say, hey, we solve it, whatever. We didn't, but. How, how Abadia started? This is very funny because if there is one common element in all the process, it's the beer. Okay? We drink a lot. Oh, I drink a lot. I'm not alcoholic, 
but I, you know, I live in in, in Madrid. That is hot. The, the the beer is so good. So, so one thing can win another thing. So that started with a, a, a afternoon in a terrace in, in the middle of the street with a copper of beer, and my buddy say, "Hey, you are talking about." Artificial intelligence around the world. You are telling about the, uh, how to solve whatever, but the, I, I am I am sure that you are not able to to solve the abbey of crime. Okay, the, the abbey of crime, and that is the I say it a lot of time. Now I, I will not do it that because whatever, whatever. But sometime the the last day, I take a lot of beer more and I say yes, I can. Uh, this is the beginning. Not too glamorous, but one of the uh, of the, uh, the ways to start a, a, a project. What is the the uh, lavadia del crimen? How many of you know the, in the Nether Rose the book of the movie from Umberto Eco? The the book, okay, okay. That's mean a good education in in the school or or the movie for the millennial can be the the movie with Sin Connery uh, and whatever. It's, a, it's an history about uh, a, a couple of mom, there is a, a lot of mother, and, and all these things. So the game is trying to, to solve. You need to stay seven days in, in, in the Abbey and try to solve who is the, the killer, OK? The thing, uh, the important thing is the first uh, 3D or pseudo 3D uh, game. You look this, that was amazing because the, the rest of the game was flat. Flat is two, two dimension. And yes, I know, this is a little crappy. There is more crappy versions at the beginning. But we are talking about the uh, 1980 uh, year. Okay? And, and it's a kind of, of cult uh, game because it was uh, very, very famous uh, at his time. The size of the program, and this is very important, is 87 kilobytes. Okay, and there is the code, the graphic, the music, map, there is plenty of math, uh, things like, like this. And if you think a little about this, is if you think uh, in, in one avatar, one avatar you share with WhatsApp or Telegram or, or whatever, is bigger than, than this. I put here one avatar just to, to compare the game against the, the avatar. This, this avatar is 80, 87. I was, not, I was in, in the M uh, uh, mother t shirt. Eh? I was really skinny. Not, and what? The, the, uh, the hair is artificial. But this is 80. Uh, 87 kilobytes. And this is the thing. This is amazing because uh, at this time, when you wanted to, to do uh, a game, you need only a, a two-member team. A genius, uh, Francisco, Francisco and Juan del Can. This is the, uh, the, uh, the guy of the graphic, artists, and everything. And he was the, uh, the programmer. Okay, And now you need. 200 or 300 members in the, in the team. Some guy is the specialist in the hair or the second character or whatever. You know. but this guy in this, this team in, in nine months has the had the the game working. Okay. So what is the plan? We wanted to because it's very important to have a plan. You if you have not a plan, you are lost. It. Everybody know. So. We wanted to make an AI that can learn to play and solve the, the game. So what we had, the original executable. This is amazing because uh, when, when the people talk about that we, we did an artificial intelligence that solved whatever breakout, you, you, the, the first thing you got is one executable, not something easy to, to work. So spend, you need to spend a lot of time trying to, to solve this. This uh, executable was in an audio tape. Okay, So we need to read the audio tape to convert this to, 
to zero and and ones, and and after that, a pass to a to a, a disassembler coming every line. It was very very funny because we discovered that there is memory position that is not used, and we we'll said, "Wow, why there is a, a, a non-used memory position?" Okay, there is the the link if you wanted to to get the original code and and remember how to program in in assembly. Okay, so from this we make a a, a kind of port very, very uh, close to the original game in C++, and this was very important because with this, we can run the, uh, the original game in, PS in PlayStation 3, in Chrome, in Windows, MacOS, and whatever. Okay, so this is the, uh, the, uh, the origin. We have now one, one game engine that we can play with. Okay, so first, how difficult is the, the game, okay? How many, what is the number of, of atoms in our universe? More or less. 10 elevated t. Are you, are you so tired of that? Oh, the, the last thing that Stephen Hawking did was write a, a very long letter to say, hey, I'm not pretty sure if there is more than one universe. But for this case, it's OK, 10 elevated, and just only one universe, because it's not, it's, it's a mess. Okay. The number of, of chess legat move are 10 elevated uh, 120, okay? Mm, not too bad. Uh, in the case of the Go, it's 10 elevated to 761. And now the important thing, the legal move of the are 10 elevated 10,000. This is incredible. It's more difficult than Go, and that put as to the, to the glory. You know, it's a ticket to the glory. The, uh, the people from this mine can say, yeah, we solved the, the, the goal, but we solved the, the badia that was very, very difficult to, or not. But there is a lot of, of beer to drink. For the people that, that is not, uh, that not use it to, to be more mathematically oriented, I had this slide. Because, you know, there is a plenty of zeros. I like it. I like it. Uh, so, one of the problems is that I need to, the, uh, the reward, the final reward is, is 10,000 action uh, ahead. You know, so, mm, I, I don't know if I solve the gain after 10 elevated 10,000. So, there is also a lot of little things that make the, the, the game so difficult for a human and for an artificial intelligence, because I don't know any human without any instruction that can solve the, the game without any instruction. Even the original game can without instruction, you know, to, to hit all the, the keys to discover how to go ahead or, or whatever, okay? So, when, when this is the, the uh, Guillermo, the main character, also his assistant and, and the, uh, the bat, okay? All the time is in front of me or trying to tell me something, so it's impossible to learn how to, to move, you know? Because you are, you are trying to, to say to an artificial intelligence that it's a, a, a wrong thing to go to one world. Okay, but here there is not a world. This is the the ASO and, and the bat just blocking me. So, you know, this is not an a, as a, a CC like chess or, or go. This is a, another example. Every time at vesperas hour, you need to go to the chapel to have the offices. If you don't go, die. You know, all the time I'll you do, do you die, and you need to put in this position, and you need to, to be not the last because it's not died. If you don't uh, uh, look to, with the abat, you die. It's all the time you are dying. It's in the case of the uh, dinner, you need to, to get also the second position and, and stay all the dinner quiet. In this case, it's very interesting because I, it's not your vision. It's, I, I against 
I get the, the blurry picture and in, in, in every door I say, I will change this, this picture. Okay? I need to get this key. But the, uh, the, uh, this monk don't move from this position. Only if I move also and put over there, I can get the, the key. You know? The, the kind of challenge that my uh, artificial intelligence needs to, to solve. It's not, not easy. Okay, so how interacting with the game? Because I, I need to, to play a lot of game. And this is funny because with a lot of peer, we, uh, we think something like, hey, we can buy some, some robot with a copper camera, so we put the uh, one spectrum or whatever computer with, with the idea, so we send a command to the arm that uh, make a click in the keyboard, we got there, no. This is over-engineering. And if you drink a lock, look like the, it's the more easy way to do. Uh, funny is, the, it's the funniest, no, no doubt about this, but please don't over engineering because if not, you never finish nothing. Okay? This is the, f the first free lesson of this talk. So, who, who you can interact with and don't drink too much because if not, okay, you, you can use a lot of things a fake keyboard, a, a unit pipe. I love units. Pi, okay, socket, whatever. But I am pretty sure you are everything thinking about what is the best solution because you are telling that to all your customers every day. And this is a, an idea from me with a copper of beer. Embedding a, a web server inside the game. After that, you, you have an APA. All the time uh, when I am talking with the customer, I am telling them, ah, you need an APA, yeah. Or two, or two is a API. So that was the solution. That was be, uh, 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 in front of me, and I need uh, to do it. Okay, so we have a, a way to to send action. So where we we can uh, start in playing games to to try to 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 move the the character, getting a state. Get, uh, getting information and all these things you you need to to do with, with the game, and, uh, and until now we didn't nothing about machine learning. Okay, so that's a, it's an, an easy to to use uh, car or or uh, WGET or whatever you wish. Okay, and you have information like this. I remember I was in London. And make a, a light, a like a demo, and just send one command to the to Guillermo, and just uh, rotate to to the left, and the people give me an ovation. I didn't expect this, for because today is the last day. Is not uh, uh, I, I do the 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 demo, but believe me, one. One stand, stand innovation with just only this, eh? because it's so simple. It's the general. Okay, so you need to 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 get a lot of of information. I use I am Google developer and I have a, a little case and all these things. But the first thing is how to store all this, this information, and we are using we have a lot of JSON because you know Jam is for crazy minds. Uh, at the end, JSON is uh, the perfect format to, to store uh, a lot of information. And we have now about one terabyte or, or whatever of, of game play it to, to analyze it. Okay? So it's a lot of, of time building to trying to, to test in every, uh, every piece. I feel like Mario because I am trying to solve problems. I, I feel like, like him. By the way, how many of you know why uh, Mario holds a, 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 a cup? This funny cat. It's um, a wonderful story. In the first version of the game, they tried to animate the hair. Okay, so it was impossible to. So they say, "Hey, we put a cap and finish the problem." This is the the second free lesson. <laughs> Try to to discover the the uh, maintenance. Simple keys because if not, you never 
uh, get an MVP. MVP. Okay. So thank you to Mario. Okay. So next thing, when when I had the 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 chance to send ASEAN to the to the game, the first uh, thing was okay. I will do my first agent trying to do with a batch cell, sending a lot of command and you know. But this is not the, the, the good way. There is a project that is OpenAI. How many of you know OpenAI? Oh, not too bad. Great. And they have a, a kind of normalized environment that is a, a call it OpenAI gene. With the OpenAI gene, you can define what is the way, the standard way to uh, create agents. And, and you make the, a kind of proxy of interface with the original game. So we spend a, a couple of, of weeks to, to have our open AA. So uh, now everybody that know how work can, uh, a gene can, can use the Abadia gene and it's transparent all the communication and all the local things with, with the Abadia, okay? So, now we can start to, to create some, some agents, okay? I will try to, to do a very, very small intro because uh, how many times I had? Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I had 80 slides more, so we are on time. And the rest of the, <laughs> of the day for us. I will try to, to not put any formula because I hate the, the formula. I prefer the code. There is a very good uh, book ab about deep learning in Python, and the author is Francois Cholet. I don't know if, if you know this book, but it's perfect because he didn't put any f a mathematical formula. Okay, if you need to explain something, instead to put summatories and whatever and integral, put Python code. No, no, this is the, the kind of book, I, I love it. So I only will put this as a slide to, to explain how, what is uh, reinforcement learning, because it's as easy as this picture, okay? You have one environment, this is the gain. So you get one, uh, one state, and the agent decides what is the next action. Go ahead, rotate left, or, or whatever, or pick up one object. Uh, the agent sends this action to the environment, in this case, the Badia OpenAI gene, and we got the next stage and the reward. And with this reward, start the, the, the cycle. We store all this information to, to train in a, a couple of model, and the agent used this model to try to decide what is the, the best the best option, okay? So, if, if there is a, a, a picture or a movie that defines reformer learning, it's this one. The Grand Hell Day. It's my, one of my favorite movies, and this is reformer learning. No formulas here. Every, every morning, Bill Murray uh, wake up and, and starting doing things, learning a, a lot of things and starting again, okay? All the time. He, is, uh, he uh, learned to play a piano, he, he tried to, to fall in love with the girl, you know? I, I will not spoil it. Everybody know what is uh, about the movie, okay? Because it's not fine spoiling it. The formula, I will not spoil it more. But it, this movie is absolutely perfect to define. Next time somebody asks you about reinforcement learning, say, did you see the movie? That is reinforcement learning. No formulas? Okay. I will go directly to what strategy uh, you can use with, with reinforcement learning. At the beginning, we started using random. It was very nice think that with, na with random, a random agent, we will solve the game. But you know, imagine that is the first day with the uh, first 100 games, you resolve the game. Wow. More for, for this mind. They are these mind things. We solve this game in, in one day. But not, that not happens, 
Okay, so random is just deciding what is the the way to to randomly move. Okay, we're starting with the most simple. We we know that's not work, and and we need to to data another another strategy. But we wanted to to test every everything. Q table is so simple. It's, it's uh, a Marco, decision, Marco chain decision product, decision yellow, uh, I didn't remember what is the name, but it's so easy because you have an step and you are starting learning what is the best thing. But you know, when you have 10 elevate, 10,000 legal move, oh, it's a huge table. It's not, not fixed in memory and, and you have uh, 10,000 uh, legal mode ahead the, the solution. So it's very difficult to tie. In general, the gain is uh, uh, the reward of, of, of the gain is more about trying to be alive than trying to solve the, the game because uh, it's more the I, I need to discover how not to die. Okay? So, more strategies. Our favorite one is a kind of misses of Cool learning and deep cool learning is very interesting because you cannot get a formula, general formula to calculate the what is the net uh, action. So you need to to uh, try to uh, train in a neural network that uh, if you pass a lot of parameters like the position of every character, what is the day, what is the hour of the day, what run, and all this information, try to to evaluate what is the best action basis in, in the uh, games you you played before. Okay, it's something like how did mine solve the the go and and the rest of the people with breakout. So we are working with this. We are including some convolutional network because it's very important to uh, it's very important to have a a, a a vision, a two-dimension vision of the of the game, of the room you are playing, and we are also uh, trying in, in parallel another another option like mini games, trying to to make general little models to to try to understand how to to play in the rooms or a 33 c that is used in in StarCraft, uh, in StarCraft, and in this case, you you are uh, running parallel parallel games, and the the best one survives, and the next generation uh, gets what is the the best model that survives better to to the game. Okay, it's a kind of of genetic algorithms, but this is our our strategies. Okay, and we are working on this now. So at the end. This is the uh, the fitting lines of code with artificial intelligence in all the projects. I, I think we had fifteen fifteen thousand lines with with a lot of, of cleaning data uh, Python project with a lot of Kubernetes, a, a lot of things. But this is the the core now. A simple deep deep learning deep learning. Neural network, okay? It's writing in, in Keras, and I, I love it, Keras. How many of you are using Keras? Oh, perfect, you are very smart. <laughs> and TensorFlow, because TensorFlow is a kind, this is very funny because at the beginning was TensorFlow, okay? And, and Francois Chole say, hey, this is a, a complete mess, so I will. Uh, make a, a framework over TensorFlow to simplify this. And he did simplify this. If you try to do that with the first version of TensorFlow, it's impossible. It's something like 100 line because you need to assign whatever to a placeholder. Um, oh, you know, yeah. a very, the people from TensorFlow hate me, but I don't know why. But, but for me, this is perfect. I can even, I, I can. Do it almost memory from memory, and had no problem. Then I, I can do it with with TensorFlow. So, if you wanted to do some some uh, project with deep learning, I really recommend to use Keras Keras framework. Uh, even in the 2.0 version of TensorFlow, is included uh, Keras. Okay, Keras. Sorry. So, 
one beer for him. Uh, okay, how all this thing is uh, organized? Because this is the important thing about when you had a, a project, remember, all the, the previous slides was the, the, uh, the machine learning part, okay? Just this, this 20 thing, but you need to do a lot of thing to, uh, to make the, uh, the project work, okay? Something like, the first thing is how we got the information. We got a, a lot of file every, every game, with uh, with the general result, with all the action, with the uh, a lot of checkpoint. We checkpoint every time uh, we uh, we pass a, a run, we can save the, the state in order that if we wanted to start the game from this point, we can do it. Okay, there is a, an ethical committee that don't don't let us to do whatever we, we wish, but the humans can do that, so the, the uh, artificial intelligence can do the same, so we not start all the game from the beginning, from the rule number one, okay? So we, uh, we, uh, every, every time we, we play, if we pass a rule, we have a, a, a checkpoint, so we can start from this checkpoint and, and explore or, or the AVI and trying to discover what is the, the solution. So we send this JSON file to close storage because my laptop uh, gets a, a lot of files in, in just the first week, okay? With this, we launch a cloud function that insert the information big query because it's so cheap and, and we need to, to do a lot of, of things. But this is, for me, it's very important because here all all these steps are managed, okay? My favorite work, to, to, to every, every time I need to, to start a project or, or design an, an architecture, my favorite work is serverless. Try to do everything managed. It's so 19 to, to try to have virtual machine, installing whatever, or, 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 you, or you need to be worried with uh, resources in, in the way in, in the 90s. So please, this is another free lesson. Serverless all the time. The best definition I know about serverless is not from Wikipedia, is not from whatever, it's from me. And it's an Italian sentence that is something like Dolce far niente. Sweet to nothing. This is the, it's a mantra. You need to, to tell all the time. I, I will not uh, put one uh, NFS storage or whatever. I will not uh, don't, don't program in nothing or a server to, to have a flash server or whatever to, to server function. No, no, serverless. This is so, so important. Okay? So I am using a lot of uh, 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 Google backend storage because are so cheap and I have not, and I need to coordinate a lot of people trying to, to solve in the thing, so that's all go to Google Storage. Google Function, reserve, uh, remember, serverless, super easy, fast, and cheap. Every three million calls is uh, about two or three dollars. You know? It's one beer, just thin in beers. <laughs> Uh, I am using BigQuery because it has no limit from, from the beginning. How many of you are using a notebook like Jupyter or Othcolar? Wow, this is another great uh, idea. Eh? I had, if you are using Colab, you are has, having access to, to GPUs, to TPU for free, so they almost uh, all the time trying to analyze the data or whatever I'm doing with, with Collab. Even I am using the, uh, the Google Cloud Shell because, you know, they put a virtual machine, so, so I, I use all, all the, the time for me. This is uh, one of the best things I, I discovered in the last two years or three years. And I spend a lot of time talking about this because it's very, very important. I tell that before, Kiras, forget pitols and, and whatever kiras. There is a, a word, a flame work between pitols uh, or pytorch uh, and kiras. Eh? Lecun, Jan Lecun, that is the, the thing of 
five minutes to go, <laughs> I will not tell about this for now. <laughs> for now. Okay. The another thing and another free lesson is from the very first moment starting using Docker and Kubernetes. Okay. Do, do you know what is the more the more nonsense who are centers used for uh, for programmers in my laptop works. Okay, this is another thing that you need to er eradicate. So uh, uh, we uh, we create one Docker to to run the game in in a, in a Linux. Okay, but work from the day one. We we had the the option to run the agent in, in in another container, so you can start in playing with the with the game very fast. And if you have Kubernetes, can send this to a, a cluster and and start in working from the day three. So for me, it, this is absolutely important. We had a, this is another funny thing about the project also, that is that we try to do this project with a budget of fifty dollars a month. Okay, just to say to the mind, hey, we spend only fifty dollars a month and you spend million, but we can do whatever almost impossible eh, with machines. We have a cluster with eight. Um, with eight uh, uh, printed table node or printed table machine, the low one from Google, seven dollars a month running this. And I am so happy to do that and say, sometimes I, I only say that just to send messages to the this main team. To, I, I can spend more, more, more money because Google put me some money to, to do that. Eh? But I wanted to stay in 50. Fifty dollars a month. So, how to collaborate? We had, of course, we had a, a, a GitHub with frontends, with the Bigosoko LTL, that's the game, Abadia Gene with the Gene and a, a couple of, of uh, agents. So there is a lot to of work to do, and and we are doing things very very funny like. Uh, uh, the game now is playing in, uh, automatically, so generate uh, every every game generate success points that are stored. There is another process that selects what is the best uh, checkpoint, so insert this in in a queue, and there is a loop of with uh, four or five. Uh, Games uh, playing that read from this queue to starting games that were recommended for this and uh, is working in a in a kind of cycle infinite loop. Okay, so so you can participate in this and and, and you could and and we also uh, we are working to try to have an, an APA with Google Run. To a starting machine, so you can run in your computer the agent and, and through the API get the one engine to collaborate because the agent will be spend more time because we need to, to put Monte Carlo, three shares and all, all things like this. Okay, so if you wanted to, to collaborate, this is our our hat. Join us. We'll set the glory with you. Uh, we will if you Enter now in the project. You will have the same the same typeface like the the rest of the the teams. Okay, nothing, no not with the commit or whatever the 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 side of the typeface, an alphabetical to, to avoid. We have an even in one and one slash, and this is funny because sometimes we we break the game. Did you remember Matrix Three? When uh, Agent Smith started multiplicating all the time, so it was a kind of, of, of mess. We have a lot of videos with this because what happened? What I did now? And that's all. The the more important thing. This talk has a, a free question lifetime warranty. That means you don't. To, if you want to do a question now, no worries. You can do tomorrow, whatever. Whatever lifetime means, if I die, no question, no more question, <laughs> no more question. Okay. So, 
I make one, one picture. If I found my, I find my phone, because it's a kind of data quality test. If you like this, this talk, you only need to smile a little, can be, okay? If not, just put a serious face. If you don't want it to, to appear in the picture, just put your hand like this. Okay, okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, this is my, tweet, my Twitter, my, my mail. I, every day in my Twitter, I, I publish a, a lot of uh, very interesting link. I didn't read, I didn't read it because it, there is a lot of information. But I expected that at the end of the day, you read this link and like it, so I, I, I can through this and say, "Wow, this might be very interesting because everybody like it." So, <laughs> thank you very much for for maintaining me. <laughs> Let me laugh. Okay. Any okay. questions? Hi, uh, thanks, that was a really fun talk. Um, mm -hmm. you, at the beginning you were talking about characterizing the size of the problem in terms of like, like number of possible moves, you know, mm -hmm. states. Um, is there a way to measure, I don't know, like how hard it was to learn? I mean, like for instance, I don't know, Go might have fewer states Mm -hmm. But possibly it's harder to learn. Like I don't know, maybe a. I'm not sure how you'd measure it. It's got a higher Vapnik dimension or something. I'm not sure. Have you, have you like gotten any measurements like that so far? You mean you mean how can be the the best strategy to to discover the next movement or because it's at the end it's not so difficult the game because we to, to test the game we we make. Uh, with behave uh, uh, framework to test the web application, we send all the uh, the uh, movements to to do the uh, the game, okay? And it's not so difficult because in in, in the game, in in the case of the Go, there is a lot of, of legal movement and it is so wide the decision. Here you had a, a, a little less space or legal move. Because not no all the time you, you can move because there is a wall, because there is different. It's not only about uh, what is the legal movement. Uh, every chapter uh, is f uh, two pixel for two pixel position. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's, it does reduce the, uh, the number of, of movements. Okay, so and, and the game is very strictly kill you very very fast. If you when when they are back try to say can can we meet all your rules? Okay, you need to to uh, say face to face because if not, so you're starting uh, losing your life and and you die in, in in a very little moment. So the space is less than ten elevated to uh, to ten thousand. And, and the thing is, to try to discover this, we are including and programming this in C++, one Monte Carlo, three shares, to try to discover what is the, the best net mode, even if it's uh, like in Go, is so, so slowly to, to, uh, to uh, populate this Monte Carlo, three shares. Okay? I don't know. If I don't know answer your question without beer, can we do? With beer in a little bit there. Okay. We can try answering with beer later, too. Mm -hmm. More questions? Hi. Um, I see that you are using a call function to transfer data from uh, call storage to BigQuery, but uh, is an, uh, BigQuery already provides a functionality to load data from from call, uh, call storage, so you don't have to use. Uh, uh, we we are using Cloud Fusion over there because it's only you need only to drop a, a file in in a bucket and automatically call uh, that trigger a call to a call function, Cloud uh, cl uh, Cloud Fusion. So we can import this uh, this file into uh, BitQuery automatically. It's just a, a one of the pipelines. Okay. Okay. So that's why uh, we are using this. 
Okay. For now, and after that, we need to to check a, a lot of things to try to to discover is we we know that what is the the solution. Mm -hmm. Even if you check the the code, you discover there is a code of panic run that you can go over there. Stay when when the uh, bells uh, ring, you can stay there and not go to the chapel and not die because this is a trick from the the programmer. But we wanted to know is the the uh, artificial intelligence will discover the, uh, the room, for example. But when I play uh, millions of, of games, I need to make some queries to try to discover what happened. Do you know uh, how many times do you go to the, at this time, do you go to this room and your life was whatever. Okay. Before this, I do that with grep. The grep command It's my favorite data exploring Big data exploring tool, eh? really. One of my favorite books is uh, Big Data from the Command Line. Do you know this this book? Oh. There is a lot of people that need to know that this book works. But the, the problem is I had not all the data in my in my computer. Okay. More questions? Thank you very much, Juan Tomas. Thank you very much to you. Thank you.